Hi there and welcome to the part 5 of the 2023 Organic Chemistry Theory Questions and Answers, alright? We've already done part 1, 2, 3 and 4 before now, so if you missed it, you can just check it up in the Organic Chemistry playlist, alright? So let's start with question 5. Question 5 has A and then the B part. So we'll take the questions one after the other, alright? Question 5A, I first. Question 5A I says, which of the following, okay, don't forget that you can always increase the video quality in your settings, all right? So go to your settings and increase the video quality so you can see the questions clearer if you want to, all right? All right, question 5A I says, which of the following is required for the preparation of alkynes via the halogenation? Now for this here, the answer is zinc, all right? The answer is zinc. So you can go check up the organic chemistry, um, course on my website i've explained all of this for here i'm just providing the answer so what you need here is actually zinc all right zinc is required for the preparation of our kinds via the halo via the halogenation okay that's the answer ii says this ch3 ch2 ch3 does not have which of these let's look at this critically ch3 does this ch3 ch2 and then ch3 does not have um before i provide the answer let me draw the structure of the ch3 is c i have one two three that's ch3 and then ch2 c one two and then ch3 c one two and three so it does not have which of these what's the first option here six primary hydrogens if i look at this here technically we have two primary carbon the primary carbons are simply the carbon at the extreme which are these two so i have two primary carbons now all the hydrogen attached to the primary carbons become the primary hydrogens so if i look at the hydrogen attached to the extreme carbons i have one two three come to this part i have four five six so i have six primary hydrogen and then two primary carbon so going back to this so i have so it it does have right it does have six primary hydrogen it also has two primary carbons again if i look at this this other carbon here that is this one here this one here let me x this this carbon here that's attached to just two other carbon atoms this and this is called a tertiary is called a secondary carbon all right a secondary carbon is a carbon that's attached to just two other carbon atoms so hence we can see that we have two primary um, carbon atoms which are this one here and this we have six hydrogen atoms this one one two three four five and six and then we have just one secondary um, atom which is this so in essence for this which of them would be your correct said does not have what the answer is a tertiary carbon there is no tertiary right that's your answer all right next one here question three says c4h4 has how many isomers uh you can do research research on this it has three isomers all right um three known isomers so far uh let me get to the three isomers all right the three for c4h4 the first isomer there is um but one n three i and that will be this uh but one n three and that will be one two three four but one n so this three i one two three if i balance this up i have this this carbon here has one two three and four this carbon here has one two three I'll just add one here to make it four this carbon here has one, two, three, four. So it's balanced. This one has one, two, three, four. So this is C4H4. This is the first um, isomer here. The second isomer there for C4H4 is actually cyclo, cyclobutadiene. Right? By cyclobutadiene, would have this one, two, three four since it's a cyclo would have um it in ring form so when you now have buta da in means uh you have literally this and then 
uh, let's add a second one here, perhaps. So this now becomes for this carbon I have one, two, three. I'll add one here to make it four. Okay. This will become one, two, three. I'll add here and here to make it four. This becomes one, two, three. I'll add one here, one here to make it four. Same thing here makes this four. So this should rather be this should be one, two, and three. So it should be one, three cyclobutadiene. Right, not just so it should be one three, one three hyphen. All right, all right. So let's add this. So this should be rather one three cyclo buta diene, or you can say cyclo buta one. Three diene, All right? So that's like the name there. So this is like the second um, isomer. The third one, the third isomer there would be your buta triene. All right, that means a four carbon atom compound that has what they say a triene. It means three double bonds. So one two and then three that becomes triene for this carbon i have the carbon by the extreme left i have one two three and four this carbon is already balanced one two three four this one is balanced one two three four this one becomes one two i'll add one here three and four all right this is buta triene now you you don't really go and say one two three right it's you don't really have to say buta buta one two three triene it's not it's not necessary because whether it counts from the left to the right or right to the left it will always be one two three so putting it as buta one two three triene is not necessary all right so i hope you get that all right so these are like the three isomers of that compound so you can you can note this you can check this up here so what this means is that if you're given a compound that is that has um a double bond and a triple bond like this you ask to find the isomer the first one will be that compound having the double bond and triple bond that's the first note the second one will be the cyclo of the uh, like a cyclodiene of the compound right if it's four it's buta if it's five it's penta but it has to be a cyclodiene that means the compound in a circular form with a double bond like or with two double bonds then the thought the, the next one the next concept will now be put it in this in a straight line then attach three th double bonds all right so i hope you get that so i said i'm saying that if you're given a compound right that involves a double and a triple bond just like this and you're asked to find the isomer your first hint is to do this of course that's put a double and a triple bond as you can see your second hint is to get the compound in a circular form but then ensure that you you attach two double bonds as a that in and of course in circular form gives you a cyclo right then the final form is to make sure that you have um a triple double bond attached to it and of course they would balance up right so the answer here is three um isomers that's your answer all right question four let's do question four all right so question four here says butu in has dash and dash number of sigma has has dash and dash number of pi pi bonds and sigma bonds all right butuin has dash and dash numbers of pi bonds and sigma bonds let's get butuin so uh boot four carbon this so when you have two in it means that the double bond is attached to the middle one there or the carbon two let's balance this up this becomes this uh this one here um this single bonded so i have one two and three so this carbon is now balanced this one has one two three i'll add one here to make it four this carbon here has one two three i'll add one here to make it four this carbon here has one i'll add one as two three and four all right so how many sigma bonds and how many pi bonds do we have here now here's what to note a single bond gives you one sigma bond right a single bond um, gives you about one sigma bond write it here while a double bond gives you one sigma bond and one pi bond that's what to note all right with this concept let's see how we can answer this so i have a single bond here that's one sigma bond here 
single bond here, one sigma bond here, 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 double bond here, one sigma bond and one pi bond. Okay, single bond, one sigma bond here. Single bond, one sigma bond here. Single bond, one sigma bond here. Single bond, one sigma bond. Then finally, single bond, one sigma. Let's count the number of sigma bonds we have here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So eleven sigma bonds. How many pi bonds? I have just this one here. One pi bond. So I have um, one pi bond and eleven sigma bonds. Right. So let's see which option is that. So observe that in the option, they kept the pi before the sigma. So it will be 1 pi and 11 sigma bonds. So which option is that? This option here, 1 and 11. So 1 and 11 is the correct answer for this question. All right. Question 4 or question 5 here says, All right. So this question says, Which reagent is not employed for the dehydration of alcohols? All right. You have concentrated acid, you have alkanols, you have potassium hydroxide you have heat for this one here your answer is alkanol right of course alkanol and alcohol are the same thing all right so the answer here is alkanol right because they're basically the same thing why these other ones are used let's look at the b part b part says complete the following equation uh let me draw this out so the first thing you have here is a cyclohexane um cyclohexane that's um this I have a cyclohexane here. Okay. They said this cyclohexane here is being combined with PT. PT is, please, PT is actually platinum. So PT, platinum, and then heat. They're asking you what will be here. All right. The answer here is actually benzene. All right. When cyclo, uh, when cyclo, when the cyclo, when the cyclohexane is being combined with PT, that's platinum or PD palladium. What you have there is benzene, right? You have a benzene ring there. So what I have here would be benzene. Uh, take this one down. All right. So you have this, this, and then you have this. So this would be the answer. So what you have here is benzene. So take note of this. All right, the the reaction still continues. They said combines with this. Um, so you're having this also combining. Let's proceed with this. You're having this also combining with what I have here is CH three. CH three. CCl double bonded to oxygen slash aluminium chloride. That's this. So what will be the next thing here? What will be the next thing here? So this particular reaction here is called the Friedel. Friedel Crafts Alkylation. So take note, please. This is called the Friedel Crafts Alkylation. Now, for this um kind of exp for this kind of um reaction here, what happens is that one of the hydrogen atoms, one of the hydrogen atoms of the benzene ring. Will be substituted by um, the radical there that's attached to the halogen. All right, so when you have this radical here, this one here, attached to this halogen, chlorine, this particular radical here will replace one hydrogen there. So, what I mean is this what you have is now this. So, let's get back our benzene ring. Um, you have your benzene ring here, you have this, have this. You have this. All right. So what will happen now is that um, this re. So when we have something that looks like this, so CH three, then C double bonded to oxygen, and then you have chlorine here. All right. So this particular reagent here, this one here, attached to the halogen here, would replace one hydrogen. So in essence, what you have here would now look like this. You have this attached to carbon here. This carbon here will now be double bonded to oxygen. Then see here, you now have CH3. So observe the way I move this to this stop here. All right, so this is how this works. All right, so that will be your 
answer. So please note this particular reaction. All right, so this is what this would look like. Okay, all right, so this is like the equation of the reaction. That's this. All right, so you have the cyclohexane combined with platinum to give you benzene. Then benzene now go through the Friedel Crafts alkylation. That's with this to give you this particular um, product as your answer. All right, so that's the answer for this. The C part, the final thing there. The C part, the final thing there says, give the names or structure of two aromatic compounds that you know. They said names or structures. Hmm. So I'll just give you um, both name and structure. So you can just choose anyone there. Name or structures of two um, aromatics you know. Well, let me confirm that. Yep, aromatic compounds you know. Um, you have benzene, obviously. So the first thing there is you have benzene. Um, you have this. So, so this is your first aromatic benzene. Okay. Aside benzene, you have the toluene. Look at other aromatics. You have toluene. So you can just put circle here. It's still okay. Then put here CH3. This is another aromatic called toluene. Okay. You have another one again called the phenol. Okay. Still like a benzene structure. But this time it has um, an OH at the top here. So that's phenol. I'll take just one more. I'll give you just one more here. You can also have this one here. Uh, let me redraw this, please. One more here. You have this. This comes down this way. Comes down this way. This. Um, this. 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 Okay. All right. So you can have this structure here. One. Two. Three, one, two. This is called naphthalene. All right, so you can have naphthalene here. All right, so these are like some few aromatic structures. All right, you have benzene, or oh, ENE, right? Benzene, you have benzene, you have toluene, you have phenol. You have naphthalene. So these are like some basic aromatic compounds. All right. So that's the solution to the C or the fifth part. All right. So there's still a sixth and a seventh part. But then that's those one will come later. So that's literally everything about um, the fifth part here. Don't forget, you can get the complete organic chemistry course from my website. All right. It contains the different homologous series, alkanes, alkenes, alkynes up to the ether, esters, amides, just, you just name it, okay? Um, you'd learn the nomenclature, the preparation, and even the reactions that they undergo, all right? So to get a complete course, simply visit my website, www.jonaimane.com forward slash courses, and then you see the organic chemistry course, all right? So you can get it from there. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget, always hit the like button, all right? So smash that like button, give this video a thumbs up, all right? Leave a comment. If you have any question, please leave the question in the comment section. Don't forget to, if it's your first time or if you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe to this channel. And finally, please share this video to your friends, to your colleagues, to your department WhatsApp group so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in the part 6 of these classes.